Warm greetings, Code Monkeys, and welcome back to Coded Lock Films. Doing something a little bit different with this month's vlog. I'm trying a little bit of an experiment here. For the entire month of August, I am going to drink nothing but water. I'm going to eat normally and everything like that, but the only liquid that I will consume will be good old dihydrogen monoxide. And I'm just going to see what that feels like and uh, what that does for my sense of hydration and my uh, my overall feeling of physical health. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to go through about at least two of these a day, maybe three if I can manage it. And yeah, I will check in periodically throughout the month and let you know how that's going. It's day nine of my self-imposed only drinking water challenge video vlog thing. I'm great at speaking. It's actually empty right now, so I'm just gonna fill it here real quick. Muscle puff hydration! Mm. There we go. As of right now, I don't feel a, a lot of difference between how I felt before when I was just kind of drinking whatever and how I feel now. But I certainly don't feel any worse, so I'll keep you guys updated on that. If I have noticed any changes, I think that I, I, I'm, I'm a little bit thirstier more often than I was before, but my thirst is also much less intense. Like, I want to drink more frequently, but uh, my throat has not really been dry this whole month. I have summer allergies and sometimes I get a really dry scratchy throat because of that and that hasn't happened uh, since I started drinking only water which is cool. But yeah, that's about where I stand on it at the moment. I'll keep checking in. I'm a good way into the water experiment. This is I think day... Uh, I don't know what day it is. I'll look it up later. It's this day! And as it has gone on longer and longer, I've started to notice a couple of other things that I hadn't noticed initially. The first of which is that I have uh, a lot fewer muscle cramps when I work out. I don't know whether that's due to an abundance of water in my system or just a lack of something else that I was putting in my system when I was drinking other stuff, but that's been a nice side effect. And the other thing that I've noticed is that uh, I, I had some issues with fatigue early on that have, have kind of gone away by this point. Which is weird because I wasn't like a, a big caffeine drinker beforehand. I would have one, maybe two sodas a week. And the other thing that I would drink primarily was juice. And I guess my body was pretty used to having that caffeine and those sugars in my system. And when I didn't have those things, I noticed that it was a little harder for me to get up in the morning and I was feeling tired earlier in the evening. I still get tired in the evening a little bit earlier, generally speaking, but that's probably a good thing. I can certainly benefit from going to bed a little bit earlier, but I'm not gonna lie, I am really, really starting to miss my juice. There's a store near where we live that sells freshly squeezed orange juice by the bottle, and it's sitting over there in the fridge, and I, I miss it. I would very often have orange juice with my breakfast in the morning, and I, <laughs> I want it. Today is the last day of August, or second to last? No, yeah, it is the second to last. Whatever, it's close enough. And so I am more or less at the end of my only drinking water for a month challenge. <laughs> Overall, I had a really good time with this challenge. That's a car. The one other thing that I've noticed uh, towards the end of the month that I haven't yet mentioned is that uh, my skin is a lot clearer. Not to say I still don't get the occasional pimple or two, but overall, my skin is a lot clearer. Now, of course, all of these effects could be co completely coincidental. Correlation, after all, does not employ causation. Employ causation? Imply causation. I'm good at wording. And I would need to do some extremely extensive testing with a much, much larger pool of subjects to determine the overall effect of drinking nothing but water for a month. But overall, I've felt better. I've really enjoyed the overall experiment. Whether or not that's a direct result of drinking only water for a month or just good fortune for this month, I don't know. But it's been a good time, and I recommend that people try it for themselves. If for no other reason than to realize that even a very minor caffeine addiction is nonetheless a caffeine addiction. I can't say that I'm going to become the type of person who only ever drinks water ever, but I think I'm gonna drink a lot more of it from now on. And more to the point, I'm just gonna be drinking less of other stuff, most notably less soda. I think that's a big, big difference. But I love juice too much to give it up. I'm, I'm gonna be going back to probably having at least a little bit of juice every day with breakfast. It's just, my breakfast 
I just never felt complete without it, you know what I mean? But that's pretty much all I have for this particular vlog. Hope you guys enjoy VEDS this year. And until next time, Code Monkeys and fellow VEDSies, I will see you tomorrow.